Hi, Nicola Raskam here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And the question I want to look at today is, is data governance different for Data Mesh? Now, the reason I wanted to talk about this is not because anybody's emailed me about it yet, but because I've literally just finished recording a podcast episode with the wonderful Scott Herman, who invited me to be on his Data Mesh Radio podcast, because he wanted to explore exactly that question. Now, he is a fabulous host and we had a really long, useful conversation, but I know some of you may not have the time to go and listen to such a long episode, although we will include the link to it um, in the comments below. So please feel free to go and listen to that if you wish. But I expect there's lots of people who are just coming across the term data mesh and they're trying to work out what that is, let alone thinking, well, what do I have to do with data governance for it? So I wanted to do one of my little short videos to help you get your head around it. So you might have come across some of my other videos where people have asked me whether the technology that your data on makes any difference to data governance. And there's a, a video where I look at is data governance different if your data is in the cloud. And for that, my answer is no, it doesn't actually matter where your data is, what tool or technology it's on. You need to have the same approach to data governance. So you don't have a different approach for the data that's in the cloud versus that that's on premise. But data mesh is slightly different because data mesh is not just a new technology. Yes, there's technologies involved, but it's all about this socialization, the democratization of data. So there's a real people element as well. And this is what makes data governance different when it comes to data mesh. Now, not vastly different, and I think all the building blocks that I talk about whenever I'm training my courses or when I'm doing all of these podcasts and my blogs, the building blocks are the same. But you need to think about the fact that you probably need to have some different roles and responsibilities in the mix because you're going to be creating things called data products. And you need to work out how does that fit into your standard data governance framework. Now, I don't think it just slots in easily. And we might need to have a look at the responsibilities of the data owner and the data steward in particular and see if perhaps some of them belong to the data product owner going forward. So I don't think it's the same. Data Mesh is still a very new and emerging technology and the client that I've helped develop data governance over Data Mesh with, I have loved working with them and iterating as we get our head around it and making it work. It is possible to do and you do need to keep it as simple as possible, the same as I say for all things data governance. So if your organization is embarking on Data Mesh, number one, remember you must do data governance because otherwise the investment in the technology won't actually deliver the benefits that's wanted. But secondly, don't think that if you already have a data governance framework that you can just put that immediately over the data mesh. You may well have to make some small, relatively small and minor adaptations just to make sure it works there as well. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by liking and sharing on your choice of social media. And if you've got any questions you'd like me to answer in future videos, just send them along to questions at nicolaraskam.com.